Just when you thought it was all over. Not so fast, Rita. I need to talk to you. As a woman, you need to be ashamed of yourself. I know I joke a lot. I know I try to make the best out of blogs I do so people can't be bored. I try to make these blogs I do full of energy, truth, excitement, laughter. I try to mix it all in one. And when it's time to get serious, it's time to get serious. And it's time to. Here's my thing. As much as we give Anwar slack on being a lame, simple, goofy, that man catch a lot of the disrespect he get from you as a result of your actions. I believe your unfaithfulness, your disrespect, your lack of love for that man who you claim to love and respect privately but not publicly, you're responsible for how he being viewed in this battle rap community, man. I think, man, if you don't love that man honestly and you're not willing to be faithful to that man and you don't see that man as the person who you respect, honor, proud of publicly, do that man a favor and just leave. Don't let, don't have that man a, a, around that long like that when you know you ain't being right by that man. Don't have that man over, over you like that. Don't bring that man around all these people when in reality he's the joke of the crowd because of what you privately may be doing allegedly. That's bogus. That's out of pocket, man. You, you, you know what's crazy? When I was dating girls and I didn't really know know who I'd be around. Like if I go around them and they got a house full of dudes or dudes over there and stuff, I'd let them know out the gate. Like, look, you screwing any of these dudes? Like, no, this my family. This your real family? Don't have me around no niggas you screwed or got a history with and I don't know about it. And this man laughing in my face, acting like we cool, shaking my hand, dapping me up when he know he piping you or screwed you. Don't ever put me in a situation like that. I said that. I said that all the time to any girl I ever been with. And I think that's bogus and out of pocket. With if I'm with, with the rumors I'm hearing, that's a legend to be true. If it's true, man, that's out of pocket. To have that man around people who you know like you or dealing with you or that that that's bogus, man. That's out of pocket, man. Leave that man alone if that's the case. If you're not happy and he don't do what it takes to complete you, to fulfill you, and you ain't you ain't proud of him, man, leave that man alone. Let him heal right now. Rather than linger this thing on, let him heal right now. You ain't got to use that man. You ain't got to use that man. I think that's wrong. I think that's out of pocket, man. You sitting here, you ain't even affectionate with this man in public. All the videos I've seen of y'all, you never once affectionate with this man in public. But then out of nowhere, you sitting here telling Chess, I love you. Chess, I love you. And you holding him with joy and so much pleasure and so much. Come on, man. Come on, girl. And this man, your man. I know Anwar the type of dude, man. Let me tell you something. I get on Anwar case because as a man, I don't like to see weak men. And I think sometimes when you come across a girl like Rita, I think that's good for him. If it's going to make him a better man, that he can learn how to become a better man and don't be so damn weak. But at the same time, it don't give her a right to do what she do. When you come across a man that love you, when a lot of women always put this plague on not having no good men out here, then you run across a good man like Anwar who work an honest job, who only faithful to you, who love you and don't want nothing but your respect and love back. And he willing to go out of his way. He willing to take any type of scrutiny, any type of embarrassment, put himself in harm's way only for the uh, 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 flag of your love. And for you to look at that as being a weak thing 
when that's actually strength and power, that he's not afraid to say that you his lady in public. He's not afraid to be proud to hold you on his arm and bring you around the fellas because he trusts him that you was a decent, honest woman. When in reality, you showing otherwise. That ain't cool, man. That's weak. That's bogus. That's witchcraft. That's called witchcraft, girl. And then you sitting here trying to get the guys to... You really letting guys know it's all right to hit on you. It's all right to flirt with you. It's all right to mess around with you. Because you read a puffing loud. Rebellious. You from Philly. I'm from Philly. Y'all know the effing vibes. Y'all know what goes on. That's weak, dog. You ain't doing nothing but advertising yourself. That's what that is. That's what that is, man. They disrespecting your man. You ain't got nothing to say. Man, come on, man. All the relationships I've been in, it ain't never been in not one relationship where a person ever, even with my family and them, we be roasting each other and stuff. Man, my girl don't laugh. And then if they say something, that, and like, you know, sometimes they'll get a good joke in. She'd be like, uh-uh, uh-uh. Don't say that about my man. How much more stranger dudes? Come on, man. Come on, man. Sorry, man. I, I don't like that, man. You out of pocket, girl. You got that man out here looking bad because he love you, because he faithful to you, because he believing that you honestly one day going to be his wife. When in reality, man, that ain't even your overall goal, man. That's not your objective. He opened up a door. He opened up a door and honesty that actually destroyed him. That's what he did. He opened up a door, had you believing that he can be himself, take you around people without knowing he was actually weakening you. He didn't know. Sad thing about it, you honestly believe anybody in this battle rap community going to love you like him. You, you highly mistaken and you wrong. It's not going to happen. You ain't nothing but a piece of meat. Somebody that they knock off just to say you were no different than any other of these battle rap chicks that's been getting knocked off. That's all it is. And none of them going to take care of you like Anwar taking care of them. Ain't none of them going to be on your side like Anwar on your side. Ain't none of them going to come out of their pocket. Ain't none of them going to be willing to do whatever you ask them to do like Anwar is. You don't care about that, though. Because, see, that's the stuff you're not attracted to. You just like the fact of knowing it's available for you whenever you want it. You're attracted to the rejection. You're attracted to the gangster. You're attracted to the street. Because that's what you is. You from Philly, read up up and loud. You out of pocket, man. You the reason why this brother is being disrespected the way he being disrespected because of your actions. And then you sit here act as though you dumb and don't know where it's coming from. You act as if ain't nothing going on. Everybody know what's going on. Rita, the gig is up. The gig is up, sweetheart. He don't know because he naive. The gig is up. What was in the dark always come to the light. The gig is up. You out of pocket, man. That's bogus, too. You up under that man roof, man. That's crazy. That's bogus, man. That's bogus, man. You got this man around dudes who you know you might be in a relationship with, who you know you might be messing around with. That's crazy, man. And he the joke. All the battle rappers making fun of him. All because of your actions. You supposed to be his woman. You supposed to be the reflection of who he is. You don't get that make you look bad too. And that's what make niggas not want to trust you like damn. Why would I want she was doing that to do? Yeah, I hit it, but I ain't finna look out for. Her. That's all that that that's crazy. Then you sitting here laughing with these dudes. Laughing with them while they tearing down your dude. 
I got them here. I got them here. I picked them up. I put them over here. Yeah, yo nigga, low T media. For real. Man. Come on, man. It's crazy, man. You out of pocket, man. You out of pocket. No. No, 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 no. You out of pocket, man. Ain't no other way to look at that like that, man. That brother ain't did nothing wrong, man. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. That brother ain't did nothing wrong. Just as men, the things he do, it's embarrassing to men. Because no matter how much you love a person, you don't let a woman walk over you like that. You don't let a woman disrespect you like that because you love her. Just because you love her, don't get a right for her to wrong you. Don't give her the right to disrespect you. Don't give her the right to treat you as if you're not a man. And taking your love as a form of weakness rather strength. And you willing to duke it out with all these guys and her rebellion and her disloyalty. I don't fault you for having a loving heart, Anwar. Not at all. Ain't nothing wrong with loving a woman who betrayed you. You didn't know. Because I'm pretty sure she didn't come out and let that be known like that. You didn't know. You just did a couple things through inexperience by opening her up to a world like this that's nothing but dudes and barely any women in battle rap. You don't do that. You don't. Oh, that's like bring, that's like taking her to prison. Why would you take your woman to a male prison? Like, you know she's gonna be the center of attention. She ain't a have the. She ain't a half bad woman. She she kind of fair. When you see how many ugly women it is in battle rap, she one of the fair ones. So why would you tempt them guys like that? It's going to happen. And it's all different levels of battle rap guys. PG, mid-tier, top tiers, and she get to choose from all of them. And you sitting there in a circle. Come on, man. Come on, man. But I blame you, Rita, though, man. I blame you. As a woman... This what you want to do to do. You want to do to be like Anwar. And if he were, and if he was weak in those areas, then you should have built him up by being his woman. You build him up. You let him know, like, look, babe, you taking this to, you know. But that's what I'm saying about you, Anwar. And at times, see, see, this whole thing is a mess between y'all. Because you can show your woman some things that just make her not respect you as a as a man. When she's seeing you telling D.I. to hand in there, man. Now, like, man, it is a pleasure to meet you. Like, I'm like, wow, you are a superstar. I'm like, man, D.I. know me? Dude, you said that in front of your girl, man. I'm like, I'm shaking my head like, oh, he done. You call that man a superstar in front of your girl. And you was actually happy and felt honored to be in his presence. D.I. the Henny man, who could barely get a PG battle. Let's just be real. And that's no disrespect to him. Let's just be real. You are real on rock with him like that when it comes to battle rap? You call that man a superstar. Like, come on, man. He don't, crazy thing about it, he don't even really want to battle rap no more. You did that in front of your girl, man. Get done. You all around twerking. I'm talking about you, NWX. Man, you're not NWX, man. See, it's stuff like that, man. You could turn that woman from you when she see that you're a weak man. So it, it, it's like both y'all just a mess, man. Both y'all just a mess. And while you need a school girl who not... You need a school girl who, who antisocial. You don't need a a street girl. You're not even. Why would you get a street girl if you ain't a street nigga? That don't make no sense. She, if you ain't a street nigga, you can't have a street girl. I'm sorry, cause she on a different level, man. She she gonna be on a different level. Keeping it real, she only gonna deal with you for availability. That's it. You 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 available to her every need, but what she attracted to, 
If she's a street woman, she'll be attracted to a street nigga. And you can't be a street nigga because you never was a street nigga. So she'll use you for something else. But where her heart and attraction at is for someone else. You can't compete with that. Sad though, man. Can't win for losing, bro. But Rita, you out of pocket though, man. I'm not letting you get away with that. You took advantage of that man's heart. You shamed and embarrassed that man before the battle rap community. Everything that's happening to him is a result of you. Your lack of love and respect you show that man in public. You ashamed of that man. You pushed that man out of the camera. That man came over by you. You pushed him out of the camera. But you stayed in the lens of B Magics and Chess and Rock Man. Like, that's crazy. Verb asked you to kiss that man on camera. You put his face away. But you went out of your way to put your arms around Chess lovingly. You went out of your way to put yourself in front of B-Magic with your body pressed up, pressed up against him. And you ain't never been passionate with the man who you claim to love and live with ever on camera. But we see you with all these other battle rappers uh, uh, gloating over them. Come on, man. You out of pocket, girl. You out of pocket, man. You did this trash. It is what it is. It's your boy Battle Truth. It ain't my job when that's some question. It's yours, man. Subscribe to Battle Truth and hit the link in the description box and join my Patreon. About to drop five blogs today, man.